hello what's up guys how are you doing today i hope we all are doing all right so um we are still on monday morning the 21st day in the month of september 2020 so um, let me use this opportunity and wish you guys a happy new week and also wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depends on your location at this time okay so uh, talking about the dose state election there is a video here i want to share with you guys and um, um it is from the former emo state governor i'm talking about the senator rochas okorocha he has made it clear remember in my previous episode i gave you guys a recap that the uh, hopu zodima the present emo state governor says um he will be heading to the tribunal and um he has rejected obasike's election result well um for for hope i really don't want to talk about it because i believe the reason why um he is stalling to that part is because um he knew how um he got there okay that um it was from the supreme court uh that sacked a mecca head of pdp that made him to be the governor today so um he believes that maybe with the supreme court that um is a yamo will you know will be elected as um a do state governor but i trust a do people already a do people had made up their mind that a do is not lagos and roach as a culture here let me share that video with you guys roach as a culture here has um made it clear that it was not only the pdp that voted for obasiki that even the apc voted for obasiki and it is not far from the truth why obasiki was um, elected in the platform of apc in 2016 and um he has been a serving governor under the platform of apc for should i say four years or three years plus now he defected to pdp just at the twinkle of an eye because of his uh predicament um that oshumule refused to give him another ticket to run for the second tenor under the platform of apc so basically speaking the bottom line okay he is a current governor he controls the state so most of those apc members are still loyal to him now irrespective of the fact that most of them did not defect to pdp it was all a script it was all scripted most of them did not defect to obasiki to pdp just to confuse the whole system all right but Technically speaking, just like what Rochas Okorocha says here, that even the APC also voted for um, Obasiki, all right? And for Rochas Okorocha, he is not congratulating the party. He's congratulating Obasiki. And remember, Oshumule had stepped on plenty people's toe, even in the APC. I'm not talking about even... Um, Rochas Okorocha himself, there was a time uh, Oshumule claimed that Rochas Okorocha has been suspended and he's like, this is a party that um, that emanated from different political party, from the CPC, um, the NNPP, the ACN and um, I think ABGA, okay, that was the platform of um, Rocha Sokorocha. So they now came together. He already explained this. They now came together to form a third force political party that is the APC that um, removed Jonathan from the office. Okay, they believe uh, they can form another third force party uh, to outthrow the PDP. So uh, they formed APC to remove Jonathan from office that was in 2015 and it worked. So according to Rocha Zokorocha, the party now is um, has now become a one-man system or some few people, all right? They are not carrying people along, but it is a party that was formed um, with other, merging with other political party. So it is not far from the truth what Okorocha is saying. I'm going to share that video with you guys. I quickly want to give my own contribution that 
yes i believe that even the apc in a state voted for um obasiki so i really don't see any need for hopus or dema to head to the tribunal it's gonna be waste of time this is a, a normal time all the lawyers senior advocate of nigeria should make their money it is always during the election uh, because i really don't see one man um hiring uh, more than 15 senior advocates just to defend election that he already knew that he failed even those lawyers knows the truth but they have to do their job that is what they are living on okay so let me share the video so you hear it from rochas okorocha that um even the apc in edo state voted for obaseke why because they are tired of injustice that is just the bottom line so let me share this video for you guys to see and then see you in another video and please don't forget to subscribe see you guys in another video what what i've been talking about has come to play if uh pdp wins in edo i will not congratulate pdp i'll congratulate edo people for standing up against injustice voting for for obaseke it's not only PDP, even APC are voting for him. But these are people who they want to stand up for 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 injustice so that the people are not kind of or uh, uh, docile. They're not docile. They know what they want and how they want to get it. So I, I, I want to congratulate those people rather than congratulate, congratulate any party because there was a, a mere a mere dramatization of uh, fight against in, 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 in injustice in that state. Um, but when I saw Adam Oshimole with Governor uh, Hope of him, then I know that um, uh, and maybe uh, and Kulak could also be there. <laughs> so uh, when, when these three people are leading the campaign, then it, it either had to be a Ben Johnson way or, or there will be no victory. So we, we must begin to learn. And I think what has happened is that people, people, People have taken advantage of the nature of the person, President Mohamed Buhari, who most of the time chose to keep quiet and trust people without asking questions. And people have betrayed the trust he has reposed in them in governance. I have taken advantage of it to mess up a lot of things in this nation.